Hi. We have exited host mode. Thank you, TMAD40 Blue, for the top cheer. He had a bit riot. A bit riot. A bit riot. How do I dismiss this message? It's just there. If you want your name at the top of chat forever, be TMAD40 Blue. The challenge is on. Where's Plug Zone? This is a Discord. Good stuff's happening. Look at that. We are so close to 2,800 followers. We have so many small adjustments. Not to the least. You know, not the least of which includes a couple more stream editions. But I love the new chat from the last time we rocked the show. So I'm going to just warm up. Because I've got a couple of things to play with. Let's see. Somebody was asking me about this yesterday. Do I need a synthesizer? Oh no, I have a keyboard. We're good. We have all the stuff we need. That's right. Prepare yourselves. I don't even need to look at Twitch chat because I can see it plain as day. <laughs> I mean, I definitely need to see the people who are hanging out. If any. Hello, Slip. Hello, other folks. Uh, give me a hey ya if you're around. Hey ya. And, I don't know. After this song, I guess we'll get into making some sounds. This is, a uh, A general tune. Called Tord. I made it a couple years ago. Let's update Chrome. What could possibly go wrong? Uh, the music stopped. I guess I should have waited. Just kidding. Let's continue from where we left off. Hello, Hellbound Do Dochi. My friend. My friend. Welcome. Hi high five the chat. Hi, all. Hi. <laughs> So let's talk about this this tool here. I just picked up I just picked up Serum. I did it. Uh, it's the first plugin that I've actually added to this Ableton seat, which is pretty sweet. Look at this thing. So there are four tabs across the top. We can choose our patches, right? It has a bunch of presets. I gotta figure out how to make a, a pack. I guess it would show up in user. When, we're, when we save them out. Pads, leads, you know, effects, FX, master volume. We have a manual. Ooh. Look. What the heck is this? No, I don't, no. I don't, what are you doing? You're making me sad, Windows. There we go. Serum. It's a plugin. It's an AU. It's an AAX. It's all of these things. Steve Duda. That name is pretty familiar. All right, let's not get too crazy here. I love this track though. You can listen to more of my stuff on SoundCloud. I think I might upload one more thing here. I don't know how much more upload time I have. But if it's about 30 minutes. Oh god, 118 minutes? I'm trying to fill up SoundCloud and then just leave it alone. Anyway. I love the quality of this synthesizer. But. What I need to know. Is the quality of this other synthesizer. What is up with this curve? There's probably a compressor or something on our end. That's fine. Yo, Twitch. So, um, I don't know, let's do it. We've got this thing, right? It's a plugin. It makes noise. Uh, I guess they use Steinberg's VST standard. I guess, yeah, I don't know. 
how do we use serum? I don't know. Well, I don't know. There are two ways to go about this. I can read the manual with you, which is only kind of boring. Or we can make some noises, which is completely less boring. I've enabled the MIDI keyboard here in Ableton. This top right thing you there's a shortcut key for that. Command shift K or Control Shift K if you're on a PC as I am. Um if I arm this track, I can make a noise. Nice. Um let's have a look at you know what appears to me through this tool. Looks like there's a librarian. There is the Ooh, resample a wave to an oscillator. This is a wavetable synthesizer, right? It allows you to, to, to render, it allows you to work with different wavetables and uh, make some pretty cool sounds. Uh, Serum, I think it's like most notable quality as the people I've seen like use it so far. Um, so far, so soon. Let's see, well, let's go through other features from the top, right? I have this effects channel thing. It's like a rack. I don't know if there's like a hard limit on how many of these I can work with. But whatever hyperdimension is, let's get one of those in there. That's a type of spatializer. Cool. Uh, what else you got? Can I just remove this? Like, how do I, I guess I turn this off. Distortion. Make things a bit louder. And filter? What other types of distortion are in here? There we go. That's very satisfying. So we can decide whether the filter, oh, I see, is off or pre or post mixer. So that is going to have to do with the uh, summing inside of Serum's audio engine itself, right? If you think this voice makes a sound that eventually goes to master, I can have a filter. That does that thing. It's a morphing filter, so I can say, okay. Do a band pass. We could also get a idea of the filter characteristics. Um, let's see, where is that thing? Do 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 do. I guess it's here, right? So these are the different filter types or distortion types. No, these aren't distortion types. These aren't filter types. I mean, this is like filter shapes, but I was thinking just based on the sound of it, like if you listen to these overtones. It's doing pretty good, like analog modeling. It's good stuff. Got a flanger, which is another delay effect. Not like, not unlike hyperdimension. Except when you get a feedback in a flanger, you can have it tied to our tempo. Let me turn on my metronome so we can observe the truth. Doom doing wah 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 wah. And it kind of has like a formant sound, right? Um, even though it's not really a filter. A phaser, of course. Another delay effect. It's like kind of like a slow flanger. But yeah. There's a really great video. Um, by this YouTube channel, which I highly recommend. Um, let's do this. I think it's on Cloud Sign. Like, who the guy is also named Ben. You know, if you're interested in people who are named Ben that make noise, this guy has an entire X for Records, which is the company that makes Serum. Like, he has the he has a really good course on that. Really good introduction to sound design. Just like, just like. Go subscribe and watch all of this guy's stuff. He has a great Ableton manual. Like, great, 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 great. I'm going to throw this in the Bard Council on our Discord. I'm going to throw this in. Phaser can result in loss in bass, so it's not good for bass sounds. Oh, good to know. Is that why hyperdimension is different from a normal phaser? Not sure. But Ableton 9 tutorials that are super this guy is just he needs a lot more like traction his production quality is amazing his presentation is super sharp talks about how a lot of these things work like i'm going to pin this message as a matter of fact because it's i i think it's that important um so if you're on our discord 
um, which you can get to. I know probably everyone here is in Discord or from Discord, but just real quick, Nightbot will hook you up. Um, totally worth it. Um, this is how you may have found out we're streaming today. It seems that our weather that our weather is up up to task. I kid you not, Odd Cloud Sign is probably one of the best like music education tutorial like music education things <laughs> I've seen in a long time. Um just I I'm I'm a, a huge stankin' fan. K K. Um cannot cannot recommend it highly enough. Like just just go you know it, it, go do that person's internet. <clears throat> We're making noise. So we gotten through phaser. Chorus is another delay effect. Which is a bit wider in comparison to a phaser, which kind of seems like it expands from the center of a stereo image. Chorus starts a lot wider. And chorus kind of Im imitates, like, multiple voices of the same thing in pretty good unison. The problem with tuning the rate like that is unless there's a key trigger that like scales the rate then we kind of have to keep moving it around so we can't get that nice like chord sound it sounds pretty broken a delay nice it's like left and right filter um i don't know if you can filter for both you can do a tap delay which i guess i would have to Neat. Ping pong. One side to the other. You know, effects. A compressor, which is pretty popular. It's actually pretty good. It's a, it's a really good platform for building and, sen and sharing patches, kind of like how Contact is, or like Reactor, or <clears throat> having all of these effects and things like that means that you can send and you know receive pretty complex sounds without having the same like vst host right like a lot of these effects for example like this delay here's a similar you know effect i guess i could just send you out to here i have a left and right delay these are synchronized i can break that a bit and we're good to go Right, I mean, like you know, qualitatively, it probably isn't much different from the uh, ping pong delay that's in our rack here. But you know, that's a thing. Let's see. So delay compressor reverb. Ooh, that sounds kind of like a weird plate. Oh, it's hall. Interesting. Some pre delay. Spin, spin depth. Good, 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 good. I guess in that way, it's a good way to learn many, many things about synthesis. And I'm sure you can rearrange all of this. Oh, here's the order. To an EQ, to a filter. It kind of has like a compression stage. Nice. So, let's have a look at our modulation matrix, which will allow us to pick from different envelopes and LFOs, and we can send those control values or note values or just a knob kicking it around. Shoot, even just events. Modulate that by some curve. I guess it's like a multiplication table in a sense. Um, to another destination in the synthesizer. Um, we can say whether it's going in this direction, signalize, or back. This is probably going to be the amount. So I'm going to multiply by or multiply by the inverse. What happens if you turn them all on? You know what? I don't know. Let's do it. Let's see how much of that CPU it takes. Ooh. I like it.
Oh, and you can click it to kind of jump to the rack. But you know what I find interesting is that you don't have multiples. But the good news about that is we can probably have, like, if this is taking 4 or 5% of my CPU, you can have many, many, many of these. Hello, Mark. Uh, hello. Oh, hi, Grin Fox. Welcome. I believe it was you. Or, uh, gosh, there's another new person on Discord, like B Star or something. Star, 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 Starberry? Let's see. Music is just integrated. Whole of the stratosphere. Let's see, let's see. Have you considered? So, one thing that I really like about Serum, um, and that was kind of sold me on it, actually, is I think Splice has, like, a deal or something like that. Uh, Serum, rent to own. So Serum's, like, 190 bucks, right? Less than 200 bucks. But there's an offer at Splice, and I don't want to, like, plug them too hard, but some sound designers and artists that I have a good amount of faith in use this service. Um, it's like, it's kind of like Crunchyroll or like Netflix for samples. So you get a certain number of points that you can use that roll over into bringing, like getting a sample, getting a sampler. But for the low, low price of one of those services-ish, $10 a month, you can own Serum after, I guess if it's 10 bucks, you know, it's gonna take about 18 or 19 months. Um, which is pretty neat. It's a really good model for, for software. I haven't even seen these other windows. <laughs> but we can create wavetables as well. And maybe we'll get to that. I don't know. But this sounds pretty cool. Um, Green Fox, I would like to let you know that dog tracks um, is not going to happen this afternoon, nor is ADD, um, because Brian Burwell is snowed in. You should see the photos. His car is... Um, far enough away from his house, uh, I mean, I saw basically a photo uh, Robbie showed me earlier today of him, or his car being under, like, you know, half a, half a foot of ice. <laughs> so please prepare your tracks, send them to us anyway. Um, I will pollute chat with, uh, with the directions to do so. Uh, dog tracks. That's how you do it. We have track requirements. They're pretty straightforward, All right? Email the track without drums. We need to know how fast it is, so BPM is pretty useful, so we can give Brian a click track. Wave MP3 or AIF. Be absolutely open to hanging out with us on the stream over Discord or over Skype or however we want to manage that, Google Hangouts, like I did last week. Oh, boy, did it snow in California. Absolutely. Yes. Um... So in, in at higher altitudes, um, California, I guess, is known for its uh, its its heat and deserts and whatnot. But that's only <clears throat> you know toward the southern border, right? Southern California is a lot lower altitude on average, um, and even like Death Valley, right? One of the lowest points, you know, around <laughs> compared to sea level. That that those are very arid places often, you know, but. In places like Big Bear and, you know, many places in Northern California. The second that you get a little bit moist and a little bit higher, oh no, it's uh, quite cold at those altitudes. Let's see. What else was I going to, what other point was I going to make? So anyway, if you're interested in getting serum, this seems like a really good deal. Uh, Matt Hull and a couple of other people in my geekosphere um, away from the keyboard are all about this. And so, you know more noises. So we've got a modulation matrix and other global parameters. What the heck is chaos one and two? It's some kind of random seed. That's beautiful. Some preferences. Ooh, we can change waveform overviews to 3D. I don't need to see the piano keys. I don't find that particularly useful. Although it's useful, I guess, to, if you want to scale your portamento. Maybe that won't hide that, though. Wait. Well, how do I hide it? Is it this button? That's fine. I will hide them by default. Show me the tooltips, because we're learning. Double-click resets controls. Yes. Double click for typable values. Nah, that's a toggle that I want to keep. Uh huh. 
Disable mouse wheel parameters. Not interested. And the tuning file. That's cool. Interesting. I guess there's there's quite a lot of neat stuff happening here. So what do they mean by this 3D view? I got you. Let's get rid of all these effects for a minute. I can't hear anything. Ah, beautiful. Got this yesterday. James Rogers know what's up. But yes, welcome to the only synth you'll ever use. I kind of believe that. I am partial to quite a few other synths. Did it feel good? Oh, maybe I lost tr track of what I actually said. Like that ever happens. So we've got a couple of normal things. All right, two oscillators, a filter, a noise channel, and a sub channel. Let's see what that sounds like. Is that a voice acting as a sub? No. Nope. That is a sub that comes right with the package. What are the waveforms you got? Oh boy. So this is probably where Serum gets most of its most of its money, right? I mean we're talking quite a few waveforms. And no user waveform, so let's figure out maybe how to make one. Do I have Bengal installed on this computer? Because that's another waveform synthesizer I will use as well. Massive is good as well. Um, you need to use a different wavetable to move up and down the wave. Oh, okay. I'm pressing the wrong button. Well, let's see. Is this blend? Is that what that's doing? Oh, uh, here's the wavetable position. Interesting. Turn the Mint Potion logo into a waveform. How do I do that? I wonder how to do that. Like, is there a way to go from like like a kind of stenographic? Okay, I'm gonna Google this a little bit. Uh st 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 Program that allows you to hide data in various kinds of images. Hmm. I don't want to. Well, let's try this out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Steganography. So we can take the Mint Potion logo, the color, and we can turn that into a thing that we can see in Audacity. So, like, I need a sound. Uh, Serum, hook me up. Let's record something real fast. So I want audio from Master, and I want to record it. I need to arm you, my friend. All right, and we're going to just do that wavetable traversal thing. So... Ha! I am definitely not already good with Massive. You have a good point. So what I'm gonna do here, is I'm gonna edit this with my favorite wavetable editor. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, Audacity. Audacity has another view. Um, I believe, how do I do, oh, there's a karaoke mode, what? Um, I would like to see this Boop. in a spectrogram setting, right? So here's like the, the, the power by, um, <clears throat> <coughs> Massive is decent. They definitely make different noises. <laughs> I'm only 5'7". So here is the, whoa, where you would see like an image, right, of that wave 
I guess in order to hide like the mint potion image into that, that'd be like stenographic, right? So you can see that between zero and eight K, I guess, I don't know what that's about. Tell me about your sample rate. Yeah, seems normal. Uh, maybe it's a scaling thing. Can I zoom out? Is there a button for that? But we can see like this lovely picture that represents kind of the same thing that we see in this like wavetable, right? Um, this kind of convergent of this wave forming into that wave, right? I mean, I guess it would be easier or it'd make more sense if the, I don't know, there, there, are, there are better ways to frame this argument. Um, and you can also see the, my hand not being so steady. But power by frequency, right? Is that what you mean by making a wavetable out of this? Oh, man. Oh, man. Because, I mean, I guess that's possible, right? We can hide the mint potion image in this type of like thing. Um, I'm trying to figure out a good program for that. <sighs> Steg hide. Hmm, I don't know. Steg hide 051. It requires a bunch of hash libraries and things that I really don't want to deal with right now. Oh man, a video. Coagula. Some Swedish program. I don't know. This is a little bit off the off the beaten path. But yes, you can make a wave table. I don't know how you can make a wave table out of an image. I'm thinking you can put this image into into this like wave output, right? But that's not the same thing. When I mean, you think about a wave table, it's like a single cycle of a sound, right? Um it's a it's a it's a wave. I guess a good example of this, and I don't want to jump around too much, but you'll see why in a second. Because it's really a lot easier for me to describe it here. No, we're not gonna, no. We're not gonna restore the previous session. Okay, I just want a new session. Um, uh, empty project. So if I have a new sampler, Ah, uh, not wave shaper, man. Okay. Boom. You can edit samples to make noise with a tool like Sunvox. Sunvox, you say. I have envelopes. I got samples, and I think I can draw a sample, right? So I want a new sample, maybe sixteen bit. I want it to be mono. Um, I can choose the number of frames. We're just doing this as an example. A sample example, if you will. Um, where's my pencil tool? I believe it is this guy. Cut, draw, uh, set loop. Okay, let's do that. Do, 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 do. Cool. So I have this loop, and I would like, what am I, C5, it's up here. So we're triggering, this is triggering that sample all over the place. Where is volume panning relative? I need paint mode on. So this is basically how wavetable synthesis works. And I happen to be able to do this with Sunvox. I think it's a really good example. So you can drag a PNG into an oscillator and creates a wavetable. Oh, that's cool. This video. Oh, I was thinking like coming up with something that looks sort of like the Mint Potion logo. <laughs> like we're drawing like this thing. But that doesn't really make a lot of sense. This is kind of how wavetables work. Right, is we have like a cycle of a wave and the qualities of it produce certain harmonics. So I have this type of sound, this type of sound. This type of sound. We are cycling through. Um, 
not particularly necessary, but very important. So let's try what you're talking about. You can literally drag a PNG onto the oscillator. Jeez, fine, I'll do it. I'm sorry. I was just talking about wavetables, man. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I am going to exit to the operating system. And I guess I have to go, where the heck do I get a Mint Potion logo? Hmm. Uh, one of you dropped one here a second ago. Uh, do, 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 do. Of course I can't see it. I'm probably not logged into Twitch. Uh, they said, hey. Uh, ring, ring, ring. I wonder if we want it to be like really small or what, you know? I know like I probably have the project file for that thing. Like, should it be high resolution? If I've got a PNG of the logo, it's not like I made the logo or anything. Jeez, jeez. Fine, I'll, I'll, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go get the proper thing. Uh, let's see. We have it on our network access storage, in a somewhat organized location. Like, I don't know, here, Mint Potion Miscellaneous. How about this one? No, no, that's not cool. How about this one? Yeah. Oh. Mm. Oh yeah. That's 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 some high that's some high resolution. That's the that's the jam. Sweet. So let's take this guy. And let's put it in this guy. Is that what you're telling me? Is this what you're telling me? Is this for real? Do I have to change it to some other kind of thing? I guess I have to activate this oscillator, maybe? This is what it looks like, really? Let's turn off oscillator A real quick. It doesn't have a sub. All right. Hold on a second, this is cool. Dig it, dig it. I need magnifier. Dig it, look at that. That's amazing. That is cool. That went from kind of cool to totally cool. <laughs> and record breaking time. That's cool. Super dang cool. Cool, cool, cool. Can I set this so that it doesn't follow the mouse? I could just like zoom around on that thing. That is stupid cool. Look at that. Look at that. Man. All right, I'm sold. Sold. What does it sound like, though? Let's get crazy. What is this? Warp band. Oh, I see. This is like a FM from A. Sure, why not? Let's turn on oscillator A. Yes, yes, please. Do it. Do it. Have we caught up? Are we good? It's an order from Sophie, which actually is pretty important. That is dang cool. We can modulate it by the other logo, but I mean, I'm, this is so, this is so cool. So if it's blending, do I need a second type? I'm not sure. What did I, why I typed in a bunch of Ds. What does that mean? This course tuning? Course, I don't know. We gotta save that. That's amazing. Uh, yeah, what? Save you. Be my friend. So, for the blind and old, turn up the unison. All right, this guy? 
Ooh. So this is like the number of voices that we can offset. And how close they are to each other in tuning. All right, so I guess the first thing I want to do is go to our mod matrix, or let's figure out what's up with these LFOs, yo. Like, right now we're not really using them. This is the behavior of our envelope. If I have a longer attack, you can see it all move and stuff. That's cool. But what if I want this to be interesting? So we can flat, ramp up, wrap down. We can set playback, LFO. Isn't there like a thing where I can do this? Word. It's a really good way to look at how LFOs move around, right? Turn up, turn up. What? Tomiki will join in a bit. He's going to take a shower. It's blending detuned voices. I don't know that I want to do this FM thing. Is there a way that I can like, I can select multiple points? Okay. It's kind of like a grid here. I wonder if this has to do like, how are you synchronized? Oh, I can change the grid size. I can load, can I save preset shapes? I can, interesting. Okay, uh, trigger envelope, so we trigger. Can I select areas in between these modulation points? Interesting. See, so I can take two points and I can make them flat? Maybe? No? What's the point of this? I would like to remove all destinations. So we can change the magnitude of the modulation with this little blue guy, right? And we can change the destination really easily. It is a lot like Massive in that way, huh? Let's see. You can smell here. We won't judge you. Layer some drums over the top and you have some pretty slick drums. Well, now I need drums, eh? Shh, all right. And also we need like chords that are cool. I wonder if we can kind of shape with our wave shaper, right? Like do some kind of crazy. Aha! So what is this all about? Table editor? You tell me, table editor. So it looks like down here are kind of the frames um, that it's kind of modulating, right? Like the cross section of the image that it's extruding. So that this function here. Formula? Huh. I'm not sure what that would even look like. What does this do? Am I editing a single frame or what? 
Yeah, I see. So can I edit multiple frames if I hold shift or something? Yes, I can. So let's mess up this wavetable. Now how do I get out of this view? I'm just making all kinds of terrible noises. Weird. So I guess I could do the same thing here, right? If I were to select all of these, uh, all of these frames, I really want this to be like, oh, I don't know if scaling was the answer. <laughs> I didn't, um, you know, scale, I wasn't thinking scale. I was thinking more like go to, go to one and then like hold shift and go to the end, right? And then, can I manipulate all of these equally? Like, do some kind of, ooh, remove offset. That's not a bad idea. Isn't there a note there? Yeah, there is. Cool. I'm liking it. So that's a start. What else can we do with this thing? Uh, I don't like how it does that massive undo. Can I redo that? Like, I was not expecting that to be so big. Because that extreme, like this kind of stuff is clipping, and that made it click a lot. And that is no fun. How about to the beginning, the end, the beginning? Let's go to one. It, just in the neighborhood of one. And we'll hold shift and go to 256. And we'll process this again. Definitely trying to normalize the offset will do a lot of good. I just did it to that one frame. That's not how this works, dude. There we go. Cool. So that removes a little bit of the clicking. It gives us a pretty nice sounding thing. So, I guess if I click this, we get back to normal. This kind of has a bit more depth and kind of weirdness about it. Let's see where you're coming from. Pulse width modulation? That's pretty powerful. I want this to not suck. Let's go back to this LFO and maybe clear it. Can we do that? Are we good? Flip, ramp, I don't know. This doesn't make any sense. Uh, let's load a pre-existing one. Ooh. This is getting good. Can we have a, can somebody get me a good picture of, wait, actually, finally Discord's good for something, jeez. All right, so we need a nugget. Um, I would like to get the image address, please. Thanks, man. Perfect. Uh, 
uh, how about you're on, right? It's like I didn't learn from five seconds ago. All right, so the Nugget Oscillator needs a little bit of help, but I like where we're going with this. <coughs> My impassioned speech on art got on stream. Um, I was reading this. Um, I didn't know what to make of it in particular. Um, I think my image of Nugget could be slightly higher fi. But maybe we'll use... Uh, no, nah, let's, let's work with what we got. Because I think that the, it's normalizing the data either way. Like it's going to have a wave table. It's going to make a wave table of a set kind of size. So let's go into this editor again. However the heck we did that. Um, user. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is it this button? Cancel. You're not. You're not. You're not ready to be saved yet. Okay. You. You'll be saved when I say you're saved. This is neat. <laughs> Um, let's see. Where the heck can anyone remember where um that editor view was? Is it is it here? Ah, the pencil. The top secret pencil. So yeah, it makes 128. I guess it's just trying to get us to the nearest power of two. That's totally adequate. Works for my purposes. I'll hit shift. I'll do the same thing. There are other ways to process it. I might want to smooth it out, but Definitely want to remove DC offset so that whatever it does to the color, whoa, like removes all of Nugget. Wait, hold on. So whatever it's doing to the color, it actually will normalize and get the heck, like, you know, it will stop it Nugget from clipping. That helps. Um, What else can I, oh, I messed it up. No, stop, stop. Don't do that. Oh, no. I need to, no, cancel. Don't do that. What are you doing? How do I undo? Can I, I don't want to phase shift the thing. Copy, paste, delete, increase, decrease, wavetables, and oscillator. Oh, interesting. I think I might just have to re-import that. Like, I think we'll notice, right? If you look at this, this strange nugget displacement. I think we could 10. Hello. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> We're making very weird nugget oscillations. Let's listen to uh let's listen to the nugget. Ooh. I like that about there. That's pretty cool. So let's map this straight up onto this guy. And turn this way down. And then turn up the position so that we scan as much of nugget as possible. And maybe just get a little bit of a little bit of a curve here. Yeah. I need some voices. Yeah, that's cool. Cause it's silent toward the top of the image. Does Ben know the way? It's the button to the right of the copy-paste buttons? Really? Let's have a look. Hold on. Cancel. Can I rename this, like, right now? Right now. I can undo from here. Oh, here. Ah. Yes, yes, yes. Repair. Repair. Perfect. So I wonder if there's a way to transform. This is the kind of this is the kind of sound that I want like an effect over, right? Neat. Where are you? Whoa. I'm just kidding. Is 
This LFO should be triggered on key presses. And I would like maybe our sub to just suggest its presence. Oh, let's, uh... Ooh, together, we got something pretty good going on here. Doesn't have too much bite, but Nugget's a nice dog, you know? So I got a Steam Link and a controller recently. It's not a bad device, but I wasn't expecting more. <coughs> well, sign play with filters, says someone whose name that kind of blends against Jake, Jakey Tron, Jakey, Jakey. Okay, the effect, both oscillators, but do the effects affect both oscillators? Well, seeing as I only really have a reverb on there at the moment, I can tell you. Wait. That I'm not sure about that. That's definitely a reverb. I guess if I had given myself a little bit more space, we would hear it. I also like the spin, that sounds good. Let's do the opposite here. And I assume it affects us as well. Sweet. Try some chorus. On it. Hmm. Hyperdimension. So I wonder if hyperdimension is doing something with... Let me balance these out a bit. You can hear the left is a lot stronger than the right oscillator. Oh, it's because the other one's off. I can see why people definitely consider this the last synthesizer you will ever use. Let's turn that envelope back up. Very phasey. But I like that sound of that. So why should I use plate and not the not the hall reverb? Let's try it. 
So let's put a gentler LFO onto the fine tuning of which oscillator do you think? I like that. So fine is up here, right? I guess we could just target this. I think I'll do that like this. So what is this section? Look at tooltips if I hang routes oscillate to A to the filter. Oh, so B is bypassing that. All right. I don't even think there's a filter on. So if key tracking, that mix, let's turn this thing on. Not sure what fatness really is. This will bring up the point. How is everyone, Tamaki? Bark like a tree. If you click on the filter name, there's a drop down full of crazy effects. Interesting. What the? Weird. So, is it like a resonant filter for some type of effect? Wave table everything. So, this is what I meant by key tracking earlier. It'll scale based on note value, which is way nice. AGDQ, I've, you know, I don't want to say I've forgotten about it because it's one of my favorite things. That's pleasant. Welcome to a little help. Click this filter wave display thing. It'll show you another view. What the crap? I would love to know, Atoric, about your AGDQ experience. I've kind of, I've kind of like, I'm waiting for for the good things. I don't, I don't, know, I don't schedule my time around it anymore because <coughs> otherwise you don't sleep. Um, also, AGDQ, awesome games done quick. It's probably the biggest Twitch stream that isn't an esports event, even though it is kind of an esports event. It's like esports track and field. And I notice there's this green dot here. I wonder if that has anything to do with anything. This is very like trap sounding. That sub back in here. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry I didn't really mention it. Let me save my nugget waveform as a nugget. It's nuggety. Perfect. And uh, let's save our preset. This is cool. This is some, some fun some fun sound design stuff. We haven't even turned all the knobs. How crazy is that? <coughs> but I'm into it. Oh, I see. This. So this is velocity sensitivity. And it's reporting the velocity that comes in. So I'm using the software keys, right? And we have kind of a linear response, but we're also not mapping velocity to anything. Um, if, for instance, we were to map velocity to, I don't know, blend. Or 20 other things. I guess maybe all this thing does is show us, like... That's pretty playable. I don't hate that. All right. Just an idea. Whoa. But not really much other effects on there. So 
We've done it. Um, safe button. Floppy disk, middle at the top. Um, what do we call this? I would, uh, maybe Paldus Chimes or something like that? Sure. Done. I don't even need a, I just need to, pal, pal do. It's an FXP. I'll save it <coughs> in the expert folder. Cool. Done. We've got Paldus Chimes. It uses a nugget and a mint potion wavetable. And it sounds pretty good, not gonna lie. It sounds like nugget roaring. Perfect. Okay, that's good stuff. So we need something called floppy stuff. That you know, if you ate more fiber. Wow, that was fun. That's really cool. Um, let's see. What do we? So we need some floppy stuff. So what do I do? He is famous. Congratulations to Philip Aldous. Pal, Pal Du, as I think I might start calling him. Because I could be pronouncing it correctly, after all. Why would I assume that I'm wrong? Sometimes helps to know the rules of music, so you know exactly how you want to break them. Music theory gives you a basis for things. The rest is up to you. I'm going to argue against Josiah Music as much as I love... Josiah Music. Um, music theory is not prescriptive. Take another LFO and put it on the octave modulator. Let's do it. We got LFOs on LFOs. Um, doo -doo -doo. Let me just drop that right here. Wait, that's the wrong. That's the wrong thing. Let's see. That's actually something that I would do with some other. What the no? Stop that. I, uh, there, is there another undo button? I guess I could just unmap it. Right click to MIDI learn, that's useful. Uh, just remove all destinations. LFO4, you're going to Octave. All right, and then we're also gonna look, oh, this is a good reason to look at our matrix table. Because I have LFO4 going to two de destinations, but I can make the starting point opposite. I don't know if that's floppy. It's a good place to tune those things, though. I think we should slow this down. Not gonna lie, that's pretty sweet. Um, I wanna change the strength of that a bit though. Can I? Okay, that's cool as hell. This telephone needs to be re-triggered. I 
feel like it's just gonna keep giving me more and more oscill like LFOs if I start like messing with them, right? Like, where is this guy, right? I put this guy. Yeah, you just like drop one down. It's like, hey man, you need another LFO? I got you. Everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> That's pretty. Roll off some low ends. Well, I guess I could start by taking out the sub. Doesn't it sound like it has kind of like a backbeat? Da, 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 like. Right? Woo! That's a good sound. <laughs> I like it. So what are these, what are these asymmetric? Is there like a right click go to manual kind of thing going on here? I think I had the manual open. You, uh, show me what the heck asym is. What the heck asym is similar to bend ends the entire waveform. Oh. Interesting. Okay. <coughs> Self sync format shifted type of sound property. It plays and repeats. Okay, okay. So it kind of like doubles. I like this ASIM thing though. Creates a mirror image of the waveform for the second half of the duty cycle. Actually, that's what I want. So for you, we'll do this. Oh man, it does. Nugget, you're doing it, man. Is that like... I need it to be a bit faster to time itself. Yeah. All right, I'm into that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start recording something. Apparently, I've been recording this whole time. So hit R. Oops, messed that up. We don't need to record both. I'm just, I'm being a snob. Also, actually, it's not a bad idea because we keep changing these patches. We have no idea what we're actually going to keep. So I hit record. Two. Mm. I think I got it right the first time. So let's solo this guy. And two, three. All right, so it's this section, right? Um, just two bars, roughly? Oh, wow. I don't know why I'm thinking this way. It's whatever. All right, so let's do that. I want to keep whatever the heck that thing is. Um. <sighs> <laughs> Let me save this. Um, Tomaki, what was the name of that? Um, well, I could look at chat. 
He said we should name something called like Wiggly's somethings. Do we have any Sophie noises? Maybe we can get a photo of like Sophie's glasses, like they're, they're her glasses symbol. We can get pretty nuts with this. We have all kinds of cool things kicking around. I don't know. I mean, I'm willing. I'm willing to take it there. I'm actually having a little bit too much fun with this synthesizer right now. Like, this is a problem. <laughs> Where's Tomaki? I know you're here. Floppy stuff done. <laughs> I think we're going to, of course, attach his name to it. <laughs> but other than that, we're talking about some floppy stuff. So here we go. Um, we'll save this. We're actually not listening to that. We're listening to the loop that I made. That's like not the same. I'm going to save this as Tamaki. Floppy stuff. Um, it is kind of a middle ground of like this crazy patch that I definitely want to keep track of. Um, with both oscillators. Right? <laughs> oh, dang. Have you done mods before? Yes. I love the name. Perfect. Um, good, 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 good. Let's see. I'm not leaving this chat room until I get a preset named after me. Okay, now I really have to look at the non-chat like chat on my side because you are primed. And you are going to be Jakeytron1123. Uh, so, Jakeytron1123, what what can I what can I find out about you? Uh, welcome welcome to the stream, by the way. This is I'm having like a stupid amount of fun right now. I hope you are as well. I'm going to do an image search for you because uh, I have no idea. <laughs> Jakeytron uh, images. I just need. I don't know who Casey Tron is. What? Okay. Am I even pronouncing that correctly? I mean, I guess we can use this random internet person's cleavage, but I don't think that's a great idea. Um, wait, you are this internet person? <coughs> you love Serum so much. Okay, I need, I need, I need some help with you. I've, I've, oh, with your, with your search here. I did not mean Casey Tron. I'm searching instead for Jakey Tron. Maybe that's you. I don't know. Although I do like this parrot that came up. Not gonna lie. I wonder if it is perhaps attached to your Twitter profile. I think that we're getting closer. Yes. Okay. The parrot. Perfect. Uh, I don't know. Follow Jakey Tron on Twitter. Whatever. Um, let's get the fo let's get the let's get the photo. <laughs> Of the parrot and work with that. Show me the image, man. All right, so let's grab the image, Jakeytron. I'll just save you to my desktop full of images. Uh, Jakeytron. Uh, .png. .jpg. Perfect. Perfect. Um, and I think you might be on the desktop already. Let's see. Boom. There you are. Hi. Welcome. You can hang out over here next to Nugget. Represent. Represent. I have no idea where the Mint Potion logo went. That's fine. Everything's fine. Um, Steg Hide. We're not, use we're not using Steg Hide anymore. Did you know Mint Potion was live? Thanks all seven of you for kicking it. There's probably more. Hell if I know. <laughs> Serum pack made entirely from a boob picture. Yeah, it would. Well, maybe if we get into the business of selling serum packs, um, we can we can do that. You know, like maybe like Angry Crows, like you know, super triple X hardcore boob in cleavage pack. I mean, right? The sounds are endless. The possibilities are endless. All right. So I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna split. I'm gonna break break split. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm gonna break. I'm gonna make a break from, from this, you know, pattern of uh, design. And let's make a new in it. Let's just give me give me a naked patch. Do your thing, serum. 
uh, user base sequence synth. Seriously, you don't have like a blank patch. Do you have? Can I just look at init? Can we search for something real quick? Init table animation. I don't know. It's a template. Let's open it. It looks like we opened it. Let's close this library thing. Love it. All right. So we have FM splat. That's neat. It's a little bit more release. And maybe like, I don't know, some resonant filter magic. What is this? Formant 2. Let's turn off this thing. So tell me about yourself. Oh, the preset oscillators baker basic shapes. This guy? Oscillators? Wait, am I messing this up? Let me let me see. Let me see what chat's missing. Check out my demos. Oh, you're on SoundCloud. Hmm. We should listen to we should listen to this the SoundCloud of this this person. Jakey Tron. Uh let's see. Let's look at my history. Is it H Y J? Does anyone remember? J Keytron from Twim Image. Okay. I guess, but that's that's not what I want. Is it is it H Y L? Here we go. Found him. Jake Miller. That rings a bell. Who is this man? Let's find out. Um, tracks. I need to know about your tracks. Mm hmm Yes? Thank you so much! <laughs> it's a pleasure to have you around. I'm glad to, uh, I'm glad to, to, to have this, I'm glad we can have this talk. Mint Potion is a really, really good spot. The community is always flattening me with kindness. Kill him with kindness. Unless you're Sophie, then you just kill him with basicness. But I don't want to dog on her too hard. Just, you know. Sophie is just a... She's just killer anyway. So, that's different. Oh, this is pretty. Did you use this? Did you make serum for this? That one's not good until the middle end. It's okay, we're getting there. Stick with us. There's so much more. More, 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 on the way. It feels good to stream. Like, I feel, I feel so, so new, so new. Tamaki, take care of your Sophie, all right? You are all, we are all each other's responsibility. That is the revelation of rubies. Ooh, I like that erosion. Listen to, uh, listen to, uh, listen to, uh, me finish making a patch with your name on it. So, let's see. I'm gonna start with SM FM Splat. Whoa! It's a little bit too resonant. Oh, I can see which one this affects. Now, you said something about, is it, like, basic, uh, synth? What was it? What was it? Something about basic shapes? I gotta find this thing in chat. I'm sorry for. In the oscillator name. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Was it. All phonemes? Basic shapes. Ah! Oh, that's interesting. Okay, okay. Let's get rid of this guy real quick. So instead of stepping through this wavetable position, which is tied to this thing, I guess, let's just do that. We can switch between a bunch of shapes. Neat. And I'm sure there's some kind of like interpolation function in here, right? So we can take all of these and like insert, I don't know, let's see what you got. Single 
normalize process process i think is just the same thing but maybe not just to the one maybe there's more that's a good looking sign though like that sounds it's very satisfying except for the whole part where i, I mess it up because i do that every time i open the wave editor that's like i don't know if you have like a subwoofer but that's nice anyway oscillator b is going to be this parrot thing um, if I can just get to the desktop. All right, now we're talking. So we'll turn on oscillator B, which looks like that by default. I'm just throwing this parrot. What? Import. Whoa. What is all this? Import normal dynamic pitch follow, dynamic pitch zero snap, and average let's do this file error do it again do it correctly do it at all what the hell i don't know there's only one you know there's you know there's only one solution to this advanced scans i'm glad thanks windows defender you're the, you're the bomb there's only one way to fix this with Microsoft Paint. <laughs> All right. Cool. Um, I don't remember the image types that I had pulled down before. It looks like PNGs are the thing. That's probably what it is. The JPEG is compressed in such a way. Cancel. A sharing violation occurred. Oh, Twitter. Oh, you tried to get very clever with my uh, pixelation. That's fine, dude. Um, what if I did this? Uh, what if they have some crazy encoded thing, right? Like, you ever think about that? A sharing violation. Oh, Microsoft, you're hurting me, man. All right, that's fine. No, I don't want to save. Apparently, I can't because of violations or something. Um, I would like Photoshop to help me out. Check out Fresh Dishes. That's where Tom McGee hangs out. Just during the Discord, welcome. Wait, what? Yeah. I need to make this into a proper PNG. <coughs> um, which is fine. I can just copy from the clipboard. Totally, totally fine. I'll paste the parrot shape. With my marquee tool, I can grab the part of the parrot that I want. I guess we can even make sure we get a fixed ratio. That's like pretty good. Um, just so it's like square, right? So whatever, one to one. Um, I will deselect the thing and I will try again using my best methods to get the square part. Let's crop. Does anyone know how to crop? Huh? We let him out one day a week <laughs> for exercise. Also let him pick up scraps in the yard that he can take back under the under the, the crawl space. <laughs> oh boy. All right. Um, let's, I'm sorry, image. I know there's a button for this crop. Oh, it's perfect. I don't know about that border, but that's just, just to be sure. Not to like, just, just like destroy the dignity of the parrot itself. But when I look at this, I see like this femto image, this fake pixel. Like if it's still there, then that's that. But crap. Okay, okay, we did it right the first time. Let's take a step back. Let's 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 cool our jets here for a sec. What the? It's not just me, right? Deselect. Okay, cool. Maybe it is just me. I don't know. Let's export this thing. Let's quick export it as a PNG. Uh, and we're going to call it... <laughs> For real this time. Thanks, man. You're the real MVP. All right. Save. Quit. I don't know why I would save this. I've got all the Jakey Tron I'll ever need. 
Uh, nah, it's cool. Okay, so you're obviously the file that I... Because it's open in Ableton Live 9. No, no, never. It's okay. Um, give me this one instead. Hey, see, so yeah, that's a file format thing. Don't worry. I guess maybe JPEG just, you know, why would I want to decompress something that I'm trying to turn into, you know, anyway. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> oh, boy. Memes. That's just an idea. At least that's what I hear. So, let's look at this wavetable position thing. How do I get it in? Yes, parrot view. So, if I do this... We have a pretty good range of expression. It's very... Cute. Check your trunk. Sweet, sweet cheddar. Oh, sour, sour notes. So let's save this as Jkeytron. Oh wait, I have to manipulate this wave first. Because I really, really, really do not like this this kind of clipping that's going on here. It makes it sound like super, super average. So shift, select, process, all of these we are going to, I don't want to normalize, right? I just want to remove the, the DC offset. So we get like, <laughs> I enjoy major seventh chords. Me too. It's kind of hard. We need one called this Phil's Phil's Minster Monster. Monster? <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, let's work it out. Um, so we have this kind of weird basic thing. Uh, I don't. I feel like I'm messing something up. I don't know. We're looking at oscillator B, so we're not breaking anything. Oscillator A is off, but now I have something that you know. The parrot, yeah, the parrot, it kind of comes through. You can see the feathers, right? That's a start. Okay, well, that's fine. It's fine. So, let's make some noise. So let's do something. Let's let's like modulate our modulations, right? So let's say I have the position of this guy. I'll slow it down quite a bit because I do like how that moves. But then, can I link this to this? Um, I kind of want to add the two, if that makes sense, right? Oh, we're doing okay on time. Don't be afraid to deselect the BPM button on the LFO. I understand where you're coming from. I just want to smooth it. I, it's, I like it for writing, like for this kind of patch, which we can't hear. That's kind of weird. All right, I need to actually... Let me let me take a quick diversion. Um, I'm not going to not finish your 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 track here. I just want to add like some kind of beat, really rapidly. Uh, let's see, it remains. I need just impulse, you know, something. Mm. 
it's pretty useful. Oh, it would help if it was armed. There it is. So I'm gonna loop you three bars. That means we have to go out quite a ways to get to like 24. Uh, it's actually Dave. I you know can barely keep track of chat, but I I think you guys can take care of yourself. I don't know. Just give me just a second. I'll make a beat here. Um, Serum is not a beat making tool yet, but I want to take those points so that's gonna be like I guess the same length it's like weird three bar clip uh-huh 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 and you are looping cool uh it's not that kick so one let's get step entry enabled yo And maybe turn down our sample here just a bit. Better than that? I guess that'll have to do. Turn up the volume. For some reason. Yeah. It's polyrhythm is. Do you, do you hear what I hear now? And so for this, it's going to be very similar. So I want this. What? I don't want to select that note. And then for these notes, I'm going to draw a little bit of velocity. You could also do this by, I think, pressing control. Make a line. Yeah. And then select that duration of time. Except like not including this part, this like top yellow section shows us the time that we're gonna duplicate right now. <coughs> right. And then maybe like do I have a good like not open but like a bell. This is where we'd like no, oh, that's fine. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Gotta do a little bit of manipulation to this sample, but that's the way to do it. So that sounds the uh, ride. All right. We wanna kind of tune our samples now. Got me. I'm going to use these things. All right, next is our hi-hat. 
So I want this to be a little bit more random. Same thing here. Stretch. Makes it a little more realistic. I think notch. Cool. Um, or a snare. Doesn't really have any anything going on. I want high pass one. So that's a bit more like a clap. The issue with this now You hear that? The tone Alright, see if it worked up. Alright, get that mixed together. And now I can actually get Humble in here. Uh, I should heat up the speed a bit. You're right. It's a good idea. A couple ways to do it. It all has to do with distortion, though. Uh, glue compressor is probably the way to go. Right now, it's not affecting anything, right? But it also doesn't need to, like... It doesn't have a lot of space, if we look at that. So, let's see. So let's see. I'm into that. It's uh, maybe also let's match the tone of this a bit. Uh, redux and erosion are kind of too. Oh, I don't know. You'll you'll see me use a ton of Ableton stock stuff and not describe it. Cool. All right. I'm gonna duplicate this track and change the instrument out for something that is a bit more realistic. Except I don't want all of this crazy crap on it. Why aren't why aren't you listening to me? Is there a version of this data that I can throw into just like something else? <laughs> like where's like I don't know. Well, yeah, one of their break packages or something like that. Just something that's like, that actually has a little bit more like actual, no, none of this, none of this weird crap. No, no, no. I need something that's like, you know, got a little bit more. This is the thing about built-in stuff. When you start building your own thing, we cannot trivialize the devil's lettuce. What the heck are you guys talking about? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm uh, stone sober at the moment. Um, so no idea what you're talking about. Oh, that's got character. Ooh, all right, let's do that. So I'm gonna swap that out. I'm gonna have a bunch of MIDI data that doesn't match, right? Like if we listen to this guy, we'll find 
all of our stuff just doesn't even come close. There are a couple of ways to like go about fixing that, right? We can take all of our data. Right, that was pretty easy. Except I don't need this kick right where it is. If I preview my sounds, oh, this is neat. Eh. We're gonna have to duplicate this up a bit. What I want is like a clap. Okay. Getting closer. I'm not going to explain what I'm doing. That's not. Let's take you, you, you. Who does that? And this has like some kind of other restore punch preset, like that, you know. But it's actually pretty manageable. If we have both of our drums together now. Still doesn't have a lot of punch, but we're not gonna go super crazy with this. This is inspired by this other patch, but nothing on here. Just bad mixing. But we can use that as a framework for our next patch, right? Sorry for the diversion. I'll call this diversion. Uh, underscore slip and uh, let's go back to serum back to the show so we have this thing yeah neat it's multiple armed midi tracks and name the song mint casserole hey man wait your turn no. <laughs> <laughs> we might do as much. I heard my name. Hold up. Yeah, that's the name of the file. So, um, let's go back to... Uh, somebody was giving us good direction on how to patch. That sounds really formant. We were using it before. Yoy, yoy, yoy. What's he got? Ooh. It's beautiful. Not what I want. Let's get rid of this for now. I need to... Oh, I love that sub. Which actually we do need.
We should probably... Faster. Listen to these different things. Alright. So one thing that I think we want to try and break or learn to break is how to... That is a Tamaki ringtone. Whoever calls you. This should be triggered. I just feel like triggering LFOs makes most patches more playable. You know? Can I add additional points to this envelope? I guess I can get rid of this altogether. If I were to take the release down. And then map like an LFO to the volume of whatever. Um, I guess to this, right? Well, not to that itself. No, no, no. Not to you. Remove all destinations. I want to... I guess it would be the sustain. Yeah. It's kind of tricky. And if I make that related this way, sounds very much like a steel drum. I'm looking for inspiration here. Uh, so what is this chaos thing? What are you? What are you? I'm making some kind of a. Some kind of a lead sounds. Ooh. We're getting somewhere. Clear you. Slower. Well, Ali doesn't have to have all of that craziness going on. Turn this filter back on. And... What is this? Band reject. EQ6. I find it weird that these LFO modes don't have much of a release. There we go. <laughs> Speak in thy chat so that this will be alive. Some vibrato. I wonder if there's a knob for that. Oh, also, we need this porta. And when you say vibrato, I think we can finally, finally remove this. Wouldn't that just be here? Mm. 
I could do it this way. Sorry. It it I hear I hear it vibrate and I and I and I just go for it. Ah, tremolo, vibrato, glissando. There are a lot of Italian words that you know. I just I need more control over. <coughs> That's interesting. So maybe we can take the magnitude down a bit. Is there a way to oxsource curve output? Output. That's a little bit crazy. How do I link like the LFO rate of another thing? Uh, like, wouldn't I want to link that to your vibrato or tremolo? Right? Let's clear these a bit. So then. Oh, no, that's just mapping the pitch. That's not what I want. That is not. Oh, longer. <laughs> Guacamole. <laughs> Burrito. <laughs> hey, I'm. What I have done is is messed up my strange thing. So let's uh, let leave that for now. Let's do this. Okay. Is it so? Well, let me finish up this patch and then I will, uh, I guess, send them out. It's a very beautiful voice. Uh, I don't think I want key tracking. That's a bit high. Okay, I do. Okay, okay, okay. So, you, yes. Is there a basic... Sit start point, loop back point, flip, flip. Uh, actually, we can map this to... We're talking about fine-tuning here. <laughs> Don't do it. Just get, get rid of it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Bypass modulation. Just remove, remove all mod whatever you're doing. Remove all modulation. You, you can be zero. I'm sorry. A beautiful, beautiful lead. I need a little bit more. Ah, 
How interesting. Maybe... I think it was the effect. I still want... Well, maybe I don't want that... That tremolo effect. Can I, like, link this to something else? Oh, no. Alright, anyway, let's... Let's map this properly. All you gotta do is put LFO3 on the fine tune and lower the width. I have no idea what you were trying to do. Did you like a ramp up to do a more wide vibrato? I'm really not sure what I'm trying to do either. I understand what you're asking me for, but I'm also very easily distractible. Ask anyone. Because the distance that that is, is really like, it's not very like appealing to me. Right, the range that that travels. And so if I have something else that is modulating that, right, like the, the weight of this thing, like that is kind of what I have in mind, which is not exactly what I want. Like, where are you going? It's like a knob that I'm looking for with a direction like that. Where I'm like, oh, width, of course. Uh, I think you mean this? But I could be wrong on the fine tune. This guy. Right, right. But that's like a shortcut to this setting, isn't it? You click the circle and pull down. And you are so patient, thanks. It's patch. Maybe we don't want Porter Renzo. Let's see, what are we dealing with here? Close enough? I know I have LFO3 on the label knobs. Is that okay? Maybe I'll put them to here. We're finding our way. I'll have you know, this is the first time that I've opened up Serum. Ever. And it's pretty fun. So this is going to A and B fine. It's obviously not going fast enough to be particularly convincing. That's pretty good. So there's <coughs> something that's allowing this. All right, let's get our effects right, because this distortion thing.
Let's go to the hyper dimension. I think that this first LFO is a bit slow for my liking. It really like is distorted and breaks apart like in with so many voices. That's a nice little It's very like earthboundy. Ben is going to look at chat and be like, okay. Yeah, I definitely, I am definitely like that at the moment. Um, weird. Is it? What octave are we on here? I feel like that, I feel like we're learning something very important about your octave is C3 to C4. Oh man. So this could be stronger. That is not particularly good UI design. K K K K zero <coughs> K K K K excuse me. So it must be you. Go work on your mod. There was a battle that took place here. After I was just finished telling this new person how nice Tomaki is. So you are my tremolo line. Where are you going? Is there a way that I can see its destination? Well, I guess it's the ones that are moving really, really fast. Here. Except that doesn't really apply to the sub yet. Now it makes sense. Except for the whole fine thing. We'll just turn that off. Tommy, thank you so much for visiting. I like that. Starting to get some pretty good character. Do you have any just amazing... I like these effects. Yeah, interesting. Okay. 
I think we have a winner. I'm digging that. All right, so let's save this um, as J underscore key, J Keytron. And I think we have found ourselves a good set of presets. Um, pardon me. <coughs> but, ah, gosh, my headset's starting to hurt. My sunglasses are starting to itch. Let's uh, make a melody, and I guess we'll loop us out with that. Yeah, I'm digging it. All right, so I've saved it. J Keytron. I think is a good name. It's a good name. Hopefully, we're laughing and having a good time. So J Keytron, an FXP, some. It's it's definitely got the right qualities. So let's get our stuff balanced a bit. So with six bar loops, we need like a bunch before we get to like a more familiar even number. Um, I'm gonna turn off my in out looping thing. Just one it's pretty good That's like some strange Afrobeat ish, like Metroid thing. <laughs> so let's make a loop. <laughs> Polyrhythms, I'm into it. Uh... Ooh, that's got a better feel to it. How about knock it up? Yeah. What if? What if I made a melody using a minor jazz scale? The minor jazz scale? Well, I, I'm, so here's the problem that I have with that. Is I'm playing off of this, and I don't have a lot of time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so... So we can, you know, we can try. So, you know, let's do it. Uh, 
Uh, okay, something like that. Um, I need something that's yeah, pretty close to what I was trying to play. Let's do it. Oh, the the Lamau of it all. Yeah, it's pretty, you know. Consolidate you and just kind of nail this down. I guess 16th notes is adequate. It's not going to keep a lot of the groove, which I have a problem with, but. View. Hey, uh, my name is Ben, or you can call me Angry Crow. I'm on the internet. Um, thanks for hanging out with us on Discord. Thanks for suggesting Serum. I have a bunch of cool presets. Let's build up a bunch of them. For now, I only have three. Um, I don't think I want to release them yet because I want to come up with a pretty good sized, um, you know, collection for the people. Um, and, you know. Nothing to sell or anything like that, but kind of learn as we go. Thank you so much for the fun time. I'm going to play us out. Hopefully uh, somebody will be able to get me out of here safely, or I'm going to make like a really embarrassing exit. That's cool. Anyway, wish me luck. Let's go. Thank you so much. Ah, oh, it hurts. Ooh. 